We're about to be live, Karen. Okay. <laughs> just so you know. All right, just let me know. It's good luck. Still, still loading, but I think we're good. All right, All right. Buddy, I'll be watching. Yep, so we are live. All right. And I'm gonna let some folks into our Zoom meeting. All right. Okay. Hi, Girl Scouts. Uh, this is Miss Karen, and I am coming to you from the Girl Scouts of the Virginia Skyline Council, located here in beautiful Roanoke, Virginia. Hey, Karen. Um, this is Molly. Can I just pause you for a second? We might uh -huh. need to give it just a minute so, so we got some more participants in the meeting, okay? Okay. I think we're good, but I just want to wait till we get some more people in here. Okay. And if, if those who are already here, we just had a few people join us. If you want to add in the chat where you're from, where you're joining us from, say hey. Hello, everyone. Yay. <laughs> okay. Awesome. We have some New Jersey. Do you see that? Yeah, Karen? New Jersey. Yes, yes, yes. Very exciting. <laughs> All right. Okay. Are we ready to go? Yeah, I think we can go ahead and okay. get started. All right. Great. Thank you all so much for joining me. Again, uh, my name is Karen, and I'm coming to you from the Girl Scouts of the Virginia Skyline Council, located here in Toronto, Virginia. Again, I am the program admin coordinator with our uh, program department, and um, I'm going to be, uh, we're going to be working on uh, our Cadet New Cuisines badge, uh, earning that badge, and the purpose of this badge is that uh, once you've earned it, you'll be able to make dishes from all around the world, as well as way back, to, way back in time. Um, there are five steps to, uh, to earning this badge, excuse me, and they are, uh, the first one is that you're gonna make a dish from another country. The second step is that you're gonna prepare a dish from another region of the United States. Third, you uh, would be uh, making a dish from another time period and number four is that you will prepare a dish that makes a statement. And then number five is that uh, if steps one through four, if those dishes uh, equate to you for a course, then you can use that and allow that to be your step five so that you can take people on a virtual culinary tour. You can share with them uh, your dishes uh, in step five. Um, and of course, um, the purpose also of, of doing these virtual uh, videos is that, you know, the, with this pandemic going on, they uh, certainly want us to stay at home and, you know, having ingredients on hand. Well, you know, sometimes that, you know, we may have to step out and, and if you do find yourself that you have to leave, you know, just make sure that, um, that you do practice that social distancing as well as having on a mask. You know, we, we definitely want to be safe if we have to leave school. Um, so again, uh, and uh, the, the, the dish that we're going to be doing, actually we're going to be um, doing step two, option two, which is we're going to create a dish from another region uh, of the U.S. And with that being said, we're going to be doing the... Um, the Southern style pimento cheese. Um, and uh, I am from the Southeastern part of, of the United States and this, this uh, dish or this spread um, has been known to be uh, at one time considered the caviar of the South. Um, and as far as, as, as anything or any questions, do, do, does anyone know what a pimento is? All right, well, um, while, you're, while you're thinking about it or you know, figuring out what a pimento is, actually it is a pepper. Um, and um, it's the basic recipe of pimento cheese. Uh, normally it's just a mayonnaise, a shredded cheddar cheese and pimento. Uh, but the regional uh, recipe uh, has more ingredients in it um, such as um, cream cheese, uh, salt and pepper, and cayenne pepper, and other, uh, other ingredients. Uh, but those three that I just named 
is what we're going to be adding to this dish and a few spices. So I'm going to hold up the, the list, the, the recipe card uh, that shows you uh, what the ingredients are. And, uh, and I'll read them off also. We'll start with two cups of yellow shredded cheddar cheese a half a cup of mayonnaise, one eight ounce block of cream cheese that's softened, you know, let it come to room temperature, one four ounce jar of pimento, diced and, oh, well, they'll already be diced, but drained. And uh, then you'll want to add a quarter teaspoon each of onion powder, garlic powder, and cayenne pepper, which is optional. That'll give it just a little bit of heat, a little kick to it. And then of course, salt and pepper to taste. So um, with that being said, uh, we're gonna get started. And if I may add that anytime you're gonna prepare a dish, you know, it, it's much easier when you have everything already measured out. Uh, that of which I've done, um, I have my, my ingredients uh, measured out um, and my cheese has already been shredded. I shredded my cheese and this is of course a shredder. They come, this is called a box shredder. They have a flat one, uh, you know, different, different um, shapes. And of course, whatever, whenever you're shredding, you, know, you wanna, uh, because it does have raised points on it, you know, you wanna be careful so that you don't get your knuckles up in there because that can be, that can hurt a little bit. But you'll start with the, the, the shredded cheese. Um, then I have my mayonnaise. I have everything uh, measured out. So, so why don't we go ahead and get started? Um, so first we're going to add our cheese, our shredded yellow cheese to a bowl. And then our cream cheese. Be mind if it's nice and soft and let it come out to room temperature. And then the mayo. Okay, so once you've got those, uh, those ingredients in the bowl, you know, you just want to mix them up and see how easy it is as far as the, um, when, you're, when your cream cheese is soft, you know, it, it does, of course, let you mix much easier. So we're going to continue to mix. And then once we have this well combined, Let's see, I'm just mixing a little bit more here. You want to make sure you get it well com combined. Okay. And then we're going to dump in our, our pimento, which, as I said, I drained them. They come in a little jar like this, a little four ounce jar. And I drained them. And of course, what that means is that, you know, you want to drain it in the colander or, you know, in the sink. And you dump those in. And again, just continue to mix. Okay. All right. And then we're going to add our spices. We have the um, cayenne pepper. We have our onion powder and we have our garlic powder. So let's just dump those in. Okay, and then again, you're gonna mix it, mix it well. All right, okay, and see that's what, that's what it looks like. When you've mixed it up pretty good and you've got everything combined. And then of course, you want to add your salt and pepper to taste. So with this, of course, you want to, of course, get a clean spoon and just do a little taste test. Hmm. That's pretty good. But I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a little bit, a little bit of salt, not much, because cheese is already salty. And then some uh, pepper, not a lot of that either because we already have the cayenne in there that's gonna give it a little kick. 
and just again stir it. All right, and that is my finished product. And this is something that's, it's a spread. You can, you know, definitely it's good on vegetables, celery especially, um, and, um, you know, definitely a grilled a pimento cheese sandwich, you know, pair that with a, uh, with a bowl of tomato soup. To me, they go hand in hand. That would be definitely delicious. And another thing about uh, pimento cheese is that it has found its way on menus in, in restaurants. Um, in fact, just last night, just looking at uh, a news piece about a, a local restaurant, and they were showing their menu and they had a pimento cheese hamburger up there. So it is something that, um, that is used in restaurants, as I said, and there are many different ways that, that you can enjoy this. Uh, but again, uh, we did our Southern style pimento cheese. Um, thank you all so much for joining me. Uh, this was step two, option two of the, new, of the Cadet New Cuisine Badge. Thank you again for joining me and I look forward to seeing you all again. Bye. Thanks, Karen. Am I finished? <laughs>